Well, a woman who has made her mark in history and happens to be a Knoxville native was honored today with her own interpretive marker. Six on your side reporter Kristen Gallant shares Lizzie Crozier French's story and how her legacy is still being honored 95 years after her death. Women's rights activists and social reformer are just some of the words people will use to describe Lizzie Crozier French. Others may just call her a trailblazer. She was born in 1851 at a time of great unrest in her native South. At a time when many were fighting for their freedoms, she became a voice for women's rights. She fought for co-education at the University of Tennessee. As a Knoxville native, she made significant contributions in helping to make the city into what it is today. She helped to start Knoxville's first hospital and first um, kindergarten, so our community really owes her such a debt. In 1890, French was the first woman to address the Knoxville City Council, and in 1923, she became the first woman to seek election on that same council. French was one of the primary leaders in the push for women's rights in Tennessee and helped the state become the 36th state to ratify the 19th Amendment. Lizzie Crozier French made significant contributions to the suffrage movement at the local, state, and national levels and should be honored and remembered for those contributions. And a new historic marker will do just that. Her message that she would leave, I think, if she were here today is simply to say, it's not for other people to tell where a woman's place is. A woman's place is where she's needed, period. Now people will be able to walk through the historic Old Gray Cemetery and read about Lizzie Crozier French's contribution to Knoxville and her fight for women's rights. Learning about this Knoxville native may even inspire you to blaze your own trail. I would say there's a little bit of Lizzie in all of us. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Thank you, Kristen. And the city of Knoxville's Vice Mayor Gwen McKenzie also presented a proclamation in honor of Women's Equality Day, which will be celebrated every year on August 26th.